Hello guys, welcome to HVAC Startup Technician and today we have a Goodman furnace here and we have 80,000 BTUs and the reason I know it's 80,000 is you can look at those burners each one of those burners is 20,000 BTUs so that's an easy way to do it if you don't want to look at it right here now I want to show you guys today how to properly test a pressure switch or if you have a problem and you think your pressure switch is bad there is a, a way to test that pressure switch and you will know first of all the pressure switch should be reading zero volts from this side of the pressure switch to the other side so what you want to do is pull this pressure switch a little bit back you, you want to have it still making contact Okay. Let's just go ahead here, pull this one a little back also. Yeah. We just have enough. So you could put on your meter leads. And I have this UEI meter, it's nothing fancy. We just turn it on here. I'll come back and this is a proper way to test your pressure switch so you take one lead here and you put the next lead to the other side of the pressure switch like this and we're reading zero volts And that's how you know your pressure switch is good. If you have any voltage fluctuating or else, where well, it's the means. Well, let me just show you this. See here, zero volts. And that's the best way to test a pressure switch. If you get any fluctuation in that switch, then you have a bad pressure switch. All right, guys. So I just wanted to show you that little tip on how to properly test the pressure switch. Alright guys, thank you for viewing the video and please don't forget to subscribe.